hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up in this series we're gonna be looking at the NFC tag with Arduino before we do that let's just talk about what is NFC NFC stands for near field communication near field communication so you hear terms like RFID which is radio frequency identification or ID um, really how this works is you have a power source and um, variable frequency of course all right so frequency and then this power source is connected to a coil or an inductor, if you will. And then when this frequency is changing, this inductor is radiating um, radio frequency around it or radio waves around it. And if you bring another coil or another inductor into the field of this coil, there will be an induction in that coil the second coil the same principle of operation as your transformers so i'm just going to use a different color for the second coil now there will be a circuit here to optimize the power here uh, this secondary coil will be a resonant circuit to optimize the frequency and the power to optimize maximum power transfer they have to match impedance and also frequency so this coil and the capacitor will form a resonant circuit now this secondary coil side will be your we have a micro low power microcontroller that you can write to write to and read from So I'll be showing um, right about now a link to our uh, near field communication example. We call it wireless power transfer. Uh, so we built the circuit locally so you can see that. But what happens is when you have these fields together, the frequency from the primary, this pr so let's call this primary or the transmitter, let's just call it primary will induce voltage on the secondary and then the secondary uses that voltage to power the onboard chip and then you can read what is stored there or you can write overwrite what was originally stored there and some of them can have an um, a read write cycle of about 10,000 times you just say 10k so you can write and overwrite overwrite it for a long a very long time now, so this is really what happened. So what we're going to do in this episode is to show how we can use the NFC tags with Arduino, how to connect it, connect this up and use it to perform useful functions. It's going to be a multi episode series. So we're going to go gradually to go through each of them. So none of them is going to be too long. All right. So here is the setup we're going to use here. We'll use the RFID, the MRC522 series. So there are different types of this. We have the mini and also this regular RC522 uh, NFC tag reader. So you can use this tag with different types of Arduinos, the Uno, the Mega, the Duo, and the rest of them. Uh, just observe the connections. So for our connection today, we're going to use the Arduino Uno so these are the pins observe the pins connect it up and you'll be good to go so without further ado let's go into this and do our first video in this series okay so to start this you have your arduino id open you go to sketch include library manage library you go to this filter and you type rc 
522 and the library will pop up then you install it I have already installed it you can check if you have the latest version which I do have 1.4.10 at the time of installation check the latest version so I have it installed so you install that library if you haven't then go to file examples scroll down to that library just installed and find the right RFID write personal data open that and this is what we'll be working with so we don't need the previous one now we'll be working with this one here right so verify that the pins correspond to the board you're using now we're using uno so the pins will be reset to 9 SDA to 10 MOSI to 11, MISO to 12, and SCK to 13. So observe that if you're using a different board for the Mega, for the Nano, for the Leonardo Micro, and for the um, Arduino Pro Micro, use the respective pins that correspond with your board. And of course, go to Tool board and select your board so we already pre-selected this to be Arduino Uno so select that and first of all you can just click on compile sketch to see that everything works as expected once it compiles then we just have to flash it to the board all right it's done compiling all right the next thing now is you have to solder up your board if it came in as components for instance we have this mini RC522 so we're gonna solder it up and we're gonna start so let's okay so that's the white tag have the blue key chain tag and then we have the connectors and we have the the mini RFID RC522 so we're gonna solder this up um, right about now we'll show you the video for the soldering techniques so if you have, if you don't know how to solder please watch that video the link is showing right about now watch the video so you can learn how to solder so we're going to do a quick soldering right now and um, all right so we've done the soldering so we choose the straight pins and we're going to keep this aside all right soldering is done we can get this out of the way we can go ahead and connect up the circuit. All right, so you're gonna use this. These are male to female connectors for this setup right now. So we're gonna go red to positive, 3.3 volts. So we have it wired up now we're good to go so plug it up to your computer and it will detect that and then just click on upload It's done uploading. It's that quick. And now we can read the tags. So once the upload is done, it takes a few seconds to be done. You go ahead and click on tools, serial monitor. Now, once it's done, we can now put the tag in. So it says type family name first. So we're gonna say uh, HackerNet. Let's do Hacker World. Unlimited. And which hashtag 
All right, then first name, the first name is Hekanet, and with hashtag enter, and that is success. So we've written successfully to this. Then the second tag, we're gonna put it in there. So it's gonna be again Hacker World. And then first name will be subscribe. All right, so we're done here. We've programmed these two cards. This is Hackernet and this is subscribe. Now we're gonna read. To read, we do similar thing. We go back to this file, example. And we go down to RFC 522 and we're going to read personal data. All right, similar thing we did earlier. We just check that the pins are the same as previous. Change the pins to correspond the connection on your board. Make sure it corresponds with your Arduino in, 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 in any particular case you're using. And then we're going to do install or upload. We compile your sketch and upload the sketch. It takes about 20% of the programmable storage space. Now it's done. We're going to click on tool, serial monitor, and we're going to read the cards. So let's put this first one here. All right, Hacker Word Unlimited. All right. So let's try the second card. It's going to be subscribe. Subscribe, Hacker World Unlimited. Let's try the first one again. All right, so in the first one, we, we had spelling errors. You can see that. Hacker World Unlimited and HE. So there's an error there. So let's read this one here again. All right, so you can program many more cards. We have other cards programmed. All right, this one is Hackernet 2. Then there are many cards we program with different names and so on and so forth. So you can program them and just read them back, whatever you've programmed. Now, just this is the first uh, video in this series. We're going to do other videos. Uh, so stay tuned as we release more videos in this series. All right, thanks for sticking around to the end. That'll be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now. And don't forget to like and share this video. Until we come your way again with more content, stay enthused.